Ebma Sacrament. What was his name? A little bit of philosophy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the year 2024. Hey friends, enemies, compatriots, it's all a fellowship. Snap crackle pop from the heater. I talk about anti-grappling and um, I'll try to not talk about copycatism while I do it. So, Sifu Johan, is that right? Is that how you say his name? I call him Sifu John. because So Sifu, Sifu John is doing some videos and they have to fit inside the little narrow strip of your little TikTok world. So they have to be really close and like, they gotta be all like this so it fits in the camera. I've just turned mine on long view and I have it really far away. And you know, Gen X don't text. So I'm gonna sit down at an old computer editing software I bought when Obama was president and edit my videos the way I've been doing it this whole time. But to do any grappling, we are doing what? Not sport, we're doing self-defense. So what is this? This is the start of self-defense. Right? So they do start this close. And my first rule in trench warfare is make a no man's land, right? So in slow motion, as soon as I recognize this guy's in my space, I explode violently like this. What the? F oh, it's you, Isaiah, creeping up on me in the yard, right? And I'm like, you've seen me do it. They walk up behind you and you're like, whoa, oh, it's my friend. To be fun. Explosively, though. And if I got my training, the Wing Chun jump Q turn kicks in and anchors my explosive blast so I don't fly away. If I'm stronger, they fly away and I catch them to save my own mirror. Okay, we have that removed in a WT demo. And then the second part then is if I'm surprised and Isaiah gets, you can just do a tackle, but don't throw him anywhere. Isaiah gets all the way, oh, oh man. That was an accident. I thought you were on the other side. Yeah, sorry. I guess eye gouging works. <laughs> Go under me. I'll hold my hands up. From here, it's a whole nother program. Sorry, Isaiah. I was raising my hand. Let's see. Get down there again, Isaiah. I don't want to stab you in the eye. From here, this is anti-ground fighting, not anti-grappling. All right, come back up. All right. So then, fit fist. Ugh. From here, we have a bunch of stuff to prevent accidents like that, right? And then, so I have to tackle or do a single leg from here. And Isaiah's going to smack me with that one, right? He goes, there we go. So, all right, rest. What he's doing in the video is he's pushing somebody down. And then he goes right into, it's this end of the video, so I'll turn this way. Thank you, Isaiah. Sorry about the eye. He's going like this, and he's hitting. So when he's got the lifting force, he's pressed down. Right? So when he lifts me up, I press down. Right? And then I go like this, and he lifts me up again. Right? And I go down, and I go up for this, and then he does inside me. Right? We have a set like this. Yeah, here we are. All right, and then if it's off energy, we go off to the side. All right, so if I lift Isaiah up, he's going to push me down, yes? If I get my body under there, I run into something. Ooh. So, as this arm goes down to push me down, that is pretty successful. Do it real hard on me now, Isaiah, right? That's something I gotta work with that's not in the video. Now in slow motion, more realistic as the arm is going out and it has to recognize the guy's going down. We're talking about some inner reaction right here. All right, I just got Isaiah's eye, I hope he's okay. Which, which these are real bad. And then if they get past that, right, then we have a chance at sticking on their head. Now go my shoulder, Isaiah, so you can be a little more jerky. 
jerk me towards the screen, right? And I stay here, yeah, he caught my head there, pushing me away, right? There, you gotta spin that way so they can see a little. So, I'm gonna run into a hand here. So we have the feeling of the hand. So if I go underneath him, his arm is interacting with my head. And here we go into the, he can knee me with this one, right? Boom, very nice. All right, so if I go out here, he's into there. I didn't have a rubber band handy. So, um, we have a chi sao section, section seven, which is derived from the fourth segment root 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 yeah so from that segment we have a set of moves that we have to do right and then we can go to a side to get back to food sal so this has some lethal moves like if uh he presses me down and does tie sal under my chin it's lethal all the way down. Demonstrate slowly with the idea. Ugh. So all in the bone, teeth shattering, the end, right? Flex your crane beak to just do a little jing at the end of your inner jing. Fatal. That's his stance. So do your Irish stance like that. From here, just even a beginner drill could be a turning drill, right? If I step in, push yourself into a, into a turn, yep. And then over on this side, pushes himself into a 100% stance because he's pushing. Now, if he walks towards me, I push myself into a 100% stance. Just like that again, push towards me. If I, if, if I fail at that, I fall back down to 50-50. So I'm not stepping over here into a new 50-50. Remember that. WT, as he turns into me, I get pushed out of my 50-50 encounter to him and then now I'm already there but if it's a spring it, it will move back to the center and if I get wedged all the way in enough center of gravity I'll stay off to the side so for, he's going for the double push really hard and then he, it felt like this so this arm no contact so it turned him this is not a great spot Right, so there could be momentum. I could be folding up. Yeah, thank you, Isaiah. But with the combination of the uh, Jing to have him slamming a little farther from this thing, and then the turn, when it's all at full speed, those add up to put the grappler those six inches, four inches farther. And what does that make them? Out of position. And if you're a grappler out of position, you're like anybody else out of position.